This video describes the finishing and polishing procedures of metal framework removable partial dentures. The finishing procedure begins by sprue removal. Using high-speed lathes and large abrasive discs, the sprue leads are cut from the casting. After sprue removal, rough finishing and shaping of the metal framework is carried out. Nodules are removed from the surfaces that will contact the teeth. This step must be performed carefully to avoid destroying the frictional fat of the casting. The casting is then adjusted and finished in an orderly sequence. The technician uses a chorus disc and stones, then proceeds to finer grinding agents. The intaglio surfaces of critical framework components such as rests, retentive clasp tips, and proximal plates must receive an absolute minimum of finishing. The clinician should carefully inspect these areas when the framework is returned from the laboratory and has every right to be concerned if evidence of overfinishing exists. Then electro polishing is carried out. In this procedure, the atoms of metal from rough projections on the metal framework go into solution before those in smooth areas do. This results in a very consistent satin-like surface. The polishing occurs in a bath of 85% orthophosphoric acid, which is heated to 49 Celsius to 60 Celsius. The anode is attached to the cast and the cast is immersed in the solution. Each square inch of the metal surface area requires 2 amperes of current for 6 minutes. The average setting is 6 amperes for 6 minutes. Note that the retentive clasp arms are protected using base plate wax. This is to avoid over polishing. 
Once the procedure is completed, the cast is removed from the electropolishing machine and cleaned under running tap water. Then, fitting of the framework is carried out. At this stage of the procedure, the technician carefully seats the metal framework and a duplicate master cast. The technician tries to identify areas that prevent seating of the framework. Because the retentive clasp tip engages an undercut area, they will be among the first areas to bind. Therefore, the technician carefully relieves the cast in these areas, using proper disclosing materials. Areas that interfere with seating are identified and relieved using spot grinding techniques. This process of seating and spot grinding is repeated until the rests are completely seated on the cast. When casting is completely seated on the master cast and shows no evidence of rocking or distortion, the technician may proceed with rubber wheeling and polishing operations. Alloy manufacturers sell a variety of polishing compounds especially suited for the respective alloys. Rag and felt wheels are used on high-speed lathes to apply polishing agents. Once the finishing and polishing procedures of the metal framework are completed, the framework is sent back to the clinic for metal try-in and jaw registration procedures.